Come on, come on. All right. The first step is always PPE, BSI, and scene safety. You'll take about uh, some gloves. And remember, while you're doing this, I put the gloves on. You can think about snows, and you can think about gloves. You can think a long time about snows and the gloves. Okie dokie. After that, we're going to open the airway manually, and then insert a properly sized oral pharyngeal airway, measuring from the tip of the mouth to the tip of the ear, like that. And start it upside down so the tip of the airway is on the hard pallet. Get out halfway in and rotate it, just like that. Then what we're going to do is ventilate our patient with a BVM with room air while we're waiting for the oxygen. And then what we're going to do is connect the BVM to oxygen and pre-oxygenate our patient for about 30 seconds. At this point, we will turn oxygenation over to a partner. Notice he's wearing BSI as well. Now I'm going to get all the stuff that I need because you've got to have some stuff. You need a combi tube, a big syringe, a little syringe, you need some lubrication, and then what we need to do is check and prepare our equipment. Put some air into the big one, make sure it's not popped. Put some air in the little one, make sure it's not popped. Then we're going to lubricate our device. Please do not lose points on registry for not lubricating the device. Okay, once we're ready, I'm going to instruct my partner to stop vagging. We'll remove the OPA. We will do a tongue jaw lift, just like we're, I guess like we're grabbing a fish, right? Insert the device, put it in until the teeth are between the two black lines. Put 100 cc's into the pharyngeal cuff, that's the blue one. Label with a number one, they're trying real hard to help you out here. Put 15 cc's in the number two tube, it's the white one with the number two on it. It even says 15 milliliters of air, they're trying to help you out. We'll ventilate through the number one tube. We're going to listen for epigastric sounds. We'll watch for chest rise and fall. We will listen for lung sounds. Once we know that the tube is secured, or the tube is properly placed, I should say, we're going to take this commercially available tube holding device, place it around our tube, and then make sure it's seated well in the patient's mouth. Uh, Screw that down. And ventilate. 